Hello everyone. Uh, my subject is positioning and tracking uh, within cellular network uh, out of GPS satellite systems. Let's start. Localization technologies are different. Uh, GPS, cellular based systems, ultrasonic based systems, infrared based systems, and so on. Uh, we, we will focus on cellular based uh, communication uh, positioning in wireless systems. Also, uh, cellular network is used within uh, the uh, global uh, navigation satellite system. Uh, with uh, for critical indoor positioning scenario because the efficiency is higher, so uh, they uh, they might work together also the cellular network uh, cellular network system and GPS systems. So in each base station we have GNSS information. Uh, exactly. Actually, I don't know. Combination of them, uh, it's not my subject. Uh, I just uh, um, focus on cellular network. Uh, GPS-based systems can find the current position only in outdoor environment uh, has, and has limitations for indoor positioning. Uh, also, when we consider GPS, uh, the signal uh, goes to ionosphere and comes from, again, uh, so there is a, a influence uh, of electronic clouds, uh, etc. Uh, so the base using base stations uh, for cellular uh, using the cellular network is more efficiency. It gets high efficiency. So uh, when we uh, out of uh, when we uh, use cellular network, we uh, reduce the energy cons consumption uh, because uh, the as I mentioned, uh, GPS the signal it it uh, doesn't go to ionosphere and comes back. It just uh, circles on the base stations. Uh, there are two kinds of positioning schemes. Uh, one is time-based uh, positioning schemes. Uh, that are uh, time of arrival, time sum of arrival, time difference of arrival. And other one is direction-based uh, systems. Direction-based systems. Also, uh, the time, uh, also the direction-based systems have uh, received signal strength and angle of arrival. Also, the cell ID uh, techniques. Uh, another uh, method for lo localization is timing, as I uh, mentioned, the upside. Uh, first, uh, what uh, I want to. Uh, uh, I want to clarify the uplink and downlink. What is uplink? Uplink is uh, me meaning of uh, measurement of uh, mobile telephone to base stations. But downlink, uh, downlink uh, measurements is, are used. Measurements are used uh, for uh, the used measurements uh, are uh, base stations from uh, from base stations to mobile phones. This is downlink. Position estimation uh, with TOA, uh, time of arrival. Uh, when we consider the base stations here, they are all uh, they are all form a circle. Since uh, the base stations have a co coverage area, so they are, uh, they form a circle in two-dimensional navigation solution. But uh, when we consider three-dimensional, uh, that's Cartesian that has uh, Cartesian coordinates of x, y, and z, it forms a sphere. Actually, look. Uh, for example, in TOA systems, uh, for let's consider these two base stations. These two base stations form a circle in two-dimensional uh, navigation solution, and uh, intersection of these two circles is 
has two points. So there is an ambiguity for uh, positioning of the uh, mobile telephone. Another third uh, base stations uh, encounter the calculation, so the exact uh, position of the uh, mobile telephone, mobile terminal is obtained. Trilateration, the term trilateration and triangulation are uh, used for the trilateration is uh, time based. Uh, techniques and triangulation is uh, angle, angular. Uh, the angle of arrival uh, is measured in this technique. Mm -hmm. What is algorithm uh, for positioning? Uh, that we get uh, the position of the mobile as a function of waveform as uh, coordinates x, x, and uh, time. T. Uh, also, the x coordinates is depends on uh, x, y, and z coordinates. Angle of arrival, um, direction from which the signal arrives at the receiver, is the principle of angle of arrival positioning. I, uh, angle of arrival method can be applied in both uplink and most of the case downlink. Angle of arrival values are determined at the mobile terminals. So, uh, in two-dimensional case, we have uh, empty position x, y, and x and y. Uh, angle of arrival difference uh, from base stations 1 and base stations 2 is P1 and P2. Uh, those, uh, these calculations form an arc, as you see. It forms an arc here. But in two-dimensional case, uh, it has, it, it could be uh, two base stations from the uh, calculation of two base station give us uh, two here um, sorry about that uh, this is uh, considering the orientation of MT mobile telephone Ori what is orientation of MT actually it is uh, orientation of the mobile terminal to its antenna so if we consider the uh, orientation of the mobile telephone there could be two position, two position, two different positions. So we need to know the orientation of the mobile ter terminals. And what about three D? What about three D uh, solution? Let's look at that. In three D, uh, considering the three D position, uh, X Y Z are unknown. So we have three unknown. And also the three, when we consider the three-dimensional uh, navigation solution, orientation of the mobile telephone gets uh, azimuth and ele elevation angles. Uh, actually, the two-dimensional has elevation, but uh, see, uh, here we have also azimuth for mobile ter mobile terminal. So uh, five uh, five unknown he here is we have five unknowns. Uh, which can be obtained from the measurements of azimuth elevation to at least three base stations. Fingerprinting positioning uh, is cell ID. Uh, 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 obtain uh, fingerprinting positioning uh, um, include the cell ID, RSS, and uh, power delay profile. What is cell ID? Cell ID is the technique of uh, if determination of the mobile telephone uh, position if the signal is here or not. If the signal of three base stations uh, is here, the co position of the uh, mobile terminal uh, in the intersection of these uh, circles. Received signal strength. When we look at received signal strength, uh, the um, when we compare uh, received signal strength with cell ID, uh, in cell ID uh, there is a threshold. Uh, the signal uh, comes um, uh, comes downside. Uh, the signal is uh, downside of the uh, threshold. 
So uh, we could say that uh, RSS is quanti quantization of the cell ID. Uh, here, uh, power of received uh, received power related with the transmitted power, antenna gains, and uh, the distance. B is the beta is here it is the decay factor. Uh, this decay factor depends on the environment and could be set on the database and uh, could be get from the database. Uh, for free space propagation, it takes values of two at least and increase up to 3.5 and 3.8 in case of non-line of sites, uh, multiple multi-pet uh, propagation environment. So uh, here is the D is distance between the transmitter and the receiver. Uh, D0 is channel model presumption uh, that's uh, taken from database. So we could get a rough estimation of the uh, distance D. Power delay profile, uh, we consider here a rectangular room uh, and uh, take a signal from three different paths. Uh, so uh, we look at the uh, uh, tall delays, uh, propagation delays. And we could get the provocation delay uh, differences and power differences. Tracking. Uh, when we consider positioning, uh, we uh, we, as, we assume that the mobile is uh, stationary. But in the case of tracking, uh, mobile is not stationary. So uh, we we should take the history of the po uh, mobile's uh, position. So uh, history of past estimates are determined here. Future states like position or velocity can cannot impact uh, current and past estimates. Vice versa is not true. Uh, means that the um, past states can impact the current and uh, future states. A commonly used model in positioning, positioning, uh, position tracking is first order hidden Markov model. What is first order hidden Markov? Let's look at that. Here is the measurement yk is the nonlinear function function of state vector. Uh, SK and noise and NK. Uh, uh, K here it, uh, K, uh, shows the each time step. For a uh, hidden Markov model, uh, each time each time step K, it's uh, uh, update uh, each each. Each time step k, uh, the uh, the values are updated. So, Bayesian Bayesian approach uh, estimates the probability density function of the current state of uh, current state by considering previous and current measurements. Thus, the new state is estimated as a prediction of the old state. Here is the update step. Update step uh, means the modification of prior PDF and uh, prior PDF uh, with measurement of time step k for obtaining for posterior PDF. Update step uh, con uh, includes the time each time step uh, k uh, updating. Yes. Actually, Kalman is also a minimum mean square estimator, so yes. the biopsy approach. Yes, uh, Kalman filter. Uh, here is some equations uh, for Kalman filtering, uh, but I don't go further in detail. Kalman filter is one of the commonly used implementation of Bayesian filters. It is a generalization of VNR filter, the VNR filter that the signal and noise must not be stationary. So tracking could be done. Here, uh, 
the tracking example of tracking these are the coordinates of x and y uh, base stations uh, here base stations uh, this is mobile uh, tracking one and tracking two uh, tracking uh, is starting here and past history of the tracking is recorded and uh, the way of tracking is determined is here is the uh, uh, this is uh, end of the tracking. Tracking starts from here and ends from here. So how do you understand you track the object? Uh, we track the objects. I mean, you have rules, yes, right? we have Yes, we consider the past estimates of the, the positioning. Is that tracking in the previous one? Yes. Here. Here is a uh, past estimates. E each each time step k uh, it shows uh, each uh, each dot uh, shows uh, the each time step k for positioning and uh, recording uh, of that position uh, gets 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 us uh, uh, tracking. Here uh, RMSA uh, for uh, positioning uh, for position tracking with Kalman filter, uh, graph of uh, Kalman filter, root mean square error. Uh, root mean square error uh, is obtained by averaging over several noise realizations. And this is uh, extended Kalman filter. Uh, the result is much better from the Kalman filter. Actually, I don't know. <laughs> Extend come up with it. I don't know actually. But if you have nonlinear model instead of linear one, linear one, you can use the regular common. But if you have a nonlinear observation model, then you have to use extended common filter. Extended common filter actually linearizes the equation first and then updates. End of my presentation. Thank you for your listening.